Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, just allow me to do this short video uh, to share with you some of the memories uh, that I have from a Steve uh, visit here in South Florida. We had a great time together. Um, uh, we recorded a lot of footage. We had a, a lot of uh, hunting videos and uh, I will be posting uh, soon. But I just want to do like a quick recap of the visit and share it with you because he was amazing. It all started with him telling me like he would be here in South Florida because he wanted to hunt iguana, but we just passed two minutes and we were just talking and we were like by my canal, the one that I had behind, and suddenly we saw a big snakehead. Like I've been been talking with him like for five minutes and we already grabbed the fishing pole and then we hooked that snakehead. It was epic. It was too bad that that the snakehead fried the the line and he get loose but that was uh, our first uh, <laughs> our first adventure like five minutes from talking to him so after that we went to the range uh, like next day we went to a range and we uh, meet over there like a few friends uh, we have a good friend that owns the uh, Palm Beach Air Guns so he's a friend of us and also another good friend of, of of us uh, they did the South Florida Air Guns Club and we uh, meet in Markham Park I every the last Sunday of every month we had a meetup but it wasn't the last uh, Sunday of every month and I called the, these guys and then we agreed to meet at Markham and then we had a great time with Steve testing all these guns um, one thing I'm, I'm really impressed was with the Ivanix that he has for the Iwanas. For me, it's like one of the best uh, guns uh, out there because it allows you to do really quick shots. Um, amazing. So, so we did that. Then uh, next, I, I wasn't able to join him on the hunt because I was working. So he went and he started like going hunting with his Type and Veteran .22. I have a Type and Veteran .25, which is my main uh, hunting gun. And then I told, hey, Steve, I had the Hades here. Do you want to try? Um, boy, this type on in Tutu blew up. So the Hades laser accurate on that. So I think I think I only have like 10 left. So <laughs> he consumed the 500. Uh, or uh, yeah, he, he used all, most of the most of the pellets. So after that. Uh, he was hunting and then we came back. Um, I asked a day off because I wanted to, to have some time with him. Um, and then he took me uh, with some guys that he found that day that they are like professional iguana hunter. I, I would say professional because they are the pest control company. And this guy were using like break bottle to hunt the iguanas. Um, and sure enough, when they saw our PCP and the aggregate, uh, they say, yeah, come over like uh, next time, and then we join them with Steve. Uh, Steve uh, was using the Ivanix, and that day had a monster who won a hundred yard. I was checking the footage, and it didn't came right. It was too bright, and the hunt was so fast that sometimes I didn't even have time to to adjust the the camera. I imagine like four guys walking toward canal, and then as soon as they want wanna. The first that take them down, that's it. So I have some footage for that day that I, I may do a short video, just showing what I did. But the, I think the great footage that we have was from the GoPro that Steve that day uh, uh, was using. So uh, next uh, we came home and and then we uh, I realized that Steve never been in Florida, so he never seen a like coconut tree. Um, so I took a couple of coconuts uh, and then we had a nice adventure there like peeling the coconut I was showing him. He was showing me also. You will see this video, probably he will be uploading this video soon. So I'm not gonna upload those, so I will leave him, but you will see how he's showing me how to open a coconut there. Um, so after that we met with, the, with our friends from uh, South uh, Palm Beach Ergon and then we went to Palm Beach to hunt the one us there. Uh, we had a great time. Something unexpected happened that day. Really awesome. So we arrived at the place. We called the police, the local police, 
to notify that we were hunting in that area and sure enough people start calling the police but they knew that we called and then they sent a guy just to check on off because people saying that we were using shotguns and shooting into the air like I don't know where they get that but the funny thing is like we had a great time the, the, with that uh, police they were really understanding so the the message here is if you're doing this in an urban area, even if it's allowed, call the police because people don't know. They see you with a, something that looks like a gun and they freak out. Then uh, that was a great day also. Uh, what else? So we, we did, then we did another hunting together. And that, that is a, it was a great uh, day. I think I got like 21 and one us uh, together. Um, but in general, so what I can say is like, for me it was a pleasure, it was an honor to uh, share with Steve all those moments. Um, it's amazing because you won't believe it, but I was the same like you, just watching, trying to be entertained and learn. And Steve was one of the channel that I always uh, was following. And having this opportunity is something that I cannot describe. So I would say thank you to Steve. I really honor to, to be able to share all these moments and now I have all these memories and videos to share with you also so stay tuned soon I will start uh, uploading more like complete videos I haven't had uh, the time yet to edit properly but expect soon some videos about all of this that, that I've been talking and I think I had a surprise also coming soon that I want to share that's everything for this video, hopefully you really like it and if you do please uh, subscribe. Alright, see you around my friends, take care.